Hello everybody, in this video I will show to you how to do an image filters in frequency domain using Gaussian low pass filter and Gaussian high pass filter. Uh, in this tutorial we will use Python and for the library mainly we will use NumPy and also we will use uh, OpenCV to open an image and Matplotlib to display our image result. Uh, in theory, if you want to apply an image filter in frequency domain, first you need to transform your image from spatial domain to frequency domain using the Fourier transform. Uh, next, you apply a filter by multiplying your image in frequency domain with filter transfer function h. And finally, you take the inverse Fourier transform to get the filter image in spatial domain. And if you use a low pass filter, you will smooth or blur your image and if you use a high pass filter you will sharpen your image we will learn how to use this filter so how to transform uh, an image to frequency domain in python first open your image using opencv function cv2.imread the variable rubik.gpg is the image file name and variable 0 tells this function to read this image as a grayscale image next Use the numpy function np.fft.fft2 to transform our image to frequency domain. And we need to shift the low frequency from the corner to the middle using numpy function np.fft.fft shift. Uh, the second step is to create the Gaussian low pass filter. Uh, the equation for 116 is two dimensional Gaussian low pass filter. Uh, you can read this textbook to read more about. The Gaussian low pass filter. Uh, the Gaussian low pass filter is an exponential function with two parameters. Parameter d is a radius or distance from the center and is calculated with this equation. Uh, the second parameter is d0, which is the cutoff frequency, and d0 can be any positive number. Uh, here is the pattern code of Gaussian low pass filters. First, we get the size of image f using the f.save then we create our filter h using numpy function np.0 in this example i set the 0 to 10 and using the for loop we calculate d and fill the value in variable h using the gaussian low pass filter equation uh, we can display our filter using plt.imshow uh, here i have several gaussian low pass filters with different parameter d zeros as you can see here, parameter D0 controls the shape of our or the size of our Gaussian uh, filters. And you can think uh, this D0 as a sigma in two-dimensional Gaussian function. We also can create a Gaussian high pass filter to start from the image. Equation for 120 is the equation of Gaussian uh, high pass filters. Again, you can check this textbook to read more about Gaussian high pass filter. The Gaussian high pass filter is simply uh, 1 minus Gaussian low pass filters. So in Python, we just need to type 1 minus our Gaussian low pass filter, which is we name it as variable h. And the image here is our Gaussian high pass filter with parameter d0 10. Next, we filter our image in frequency domain by multi multiplying our image with our Gaussian filter and we got the filter image in frequency domain. Uh, before we take the inverse Fourier transform, we need to return back the low frequency to the corner using numpy function np.fft.ifft shift. And finally, we take the inverse Fourier transform and the absolute value to get our filter image in spatial domain. And we just need to repeat the same process to suffer our image using the Gaussian high pass filter. This is the result of sharpen image using Gaussian high pass filter. And this is the final result of our image smoothing and sharpening in frequency domain using the Gaussian low pass and high pass filters. Okay, now let us move to spider IDE and I show you the full Python code. So here I am in the spider IDE with the Python code. I already prepared this Python code. So the first step, let's we import the libraries. And then we open our image using the cv2.imread function. And you can plot your 
this original image using the plt.imshell and don't forget to set the cmap as gray because we read this image as a grayscale color okay. so this is the original image next we transform our image into frequency domain using np.fft.fft2 and don't forget to save the low frequency from the corner to the center of the image okay let's run this code and we can plot these two variable in order to plot our image in frequency domain you need to take the absolute value and then take the log of this value similarly we you can use plt.imshow to plot our image in frequency domain and don't forget to set the color map as gray okay let's run this code so the f here is our image in frequency domain but the low frequency is in the corner and our f safe here is uh, our image in frequency domain where this low frequency is shifted to the center okay let's rerun this code to display this variable okay so here is our image in frequency domain where we save the low frequency to the center next we create our gaussian low pass filter first we use this f.set function to get the total number of row and column of our image then use the np.0 to create our variable age set our parameter d0 and use the for loop to calculate far parameter d and to fill the value in variable age with the gaussian low pass filter function uh, equation okay let's rerun this code and we plot our gaussian low pass filter okay so here is our gaussian low pass filter with parameter d 0 equal to 10. now we filter our image here we use the f shape which is the our image in frequency domain uh, this one and we shift the low frequency to the center and then we multiply this with our gaussian low pass filter the variable h here okay let's rerun this code and then we apply the inverse fft shift to return back the low frequency from center to the corner and then we take the inverse Fourier transform to get our filter image in special domain let's run this two code and finally we got our filter image in special domain and we can display it using the plt that i'm sure okay here is our smooth or filter image using the gaussian low pass filter and again this is the optional you can plot both the g shift and the g which is the filter image in frequency domain and okay let's just run this code and this one too so this one is the g shift which is the filter image in frequency domain and this one is variable g which is we return back the low frequency to the corner okay so here is the high pass filter we simply repeat the same process and here we create the gaussian high pass filter using one minus our gaussian low pass filter and we call it as the hpf let's run this code okay next if you want you can display your gaussian high pass filter and here we apply the gaussian low pass filter to our image in frequency domain and then we take the inverse save to return back the low frequency to the corner and take the inverse fft or the inverse Fourier transform to get the filter image in special domain okay let's run this code and we plot our filter image okay so here is the filter image using the gaussian high pass filter and again this is an optional you can plot the g shift or g which is our filter image in frequency domain so you can check the github link that i put in the description if you want to download or copy this code
okay thank you for watching i hope you learned something useful from this video and see you on the next video